Blessed day, family. Welcome to Live with Chatufa. This is the platform of the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. We are so happy and excited to be giving you updates of what is happening around the country and even outside the country. Very exciting news as we are getting closer and closer to the freedom of the Zimbabwean people. Madam Kupe, Chokozan Kupe, shows up in public at Zizwai funeral after long sick absence. We remember the very last time that we saw Madam Kupe was the time that she was going to India, I think, if I'm right, where she was going for medical treatment because she was uh, having a problem suffering from cancer. And uh, you still remember that other time that Mnangagwa is said to have ordered the government to pay the expenses of Togozani Kupe. So the Kupe has been, uh, you know, out of uh, the public eye for a very long time. And uh, now she's just has appeared at the funeral of uh, Zizai, who has just passed away, who used to be MDC uh, Chief Whip. He used to be one guy who was active in the uh, in the MDC party. Uh, remember Tokozani Kupe, uh, now looking very frail and, uh, of course, a bit recovered from the time that uh, uh, she left. Uh, she looks like she's a fighter, she's fighting, and we wish a, a speedy recovery. Kupe is also known as uh, one of those that have allowed San PF to use them to destroy the opposition. We saw that she was actually one of the first ones to be used, especially against the chain champion Nelson Chamisa, uh, where, Gav where the Zimbabwean uh, uh, Zanu PF party uh, to use money to cause a division in the rift between the leadership of the party. And there was a lot of confusion that happened during that time. Of course, I still remember Madam Kupe at one point saying that she was in the politics for the money and it angered and infuriated, infuriated a lot of people when she said such words. Well, today, ZANU-PF looks like they've totally forgotten that there was ever a coupe and uh, she is there by herself. And uh, this is one thing that we are always saying, Zimbabwe, is that uh, we need to be very, very careful with ZANU-PF. ZANU-PF, they need you when they do need you. There is a certain time that they no longer need you. They will just, you know, throw you to the dust, uh, to the dustbin without even thinking twice. And we are seeing people like uh, Song Ezoshabang, who are today on high horses and they think, you know, they are making a killing out of it and they are so, you know, up there the ladder. But uh, ZANPF being ZANPF, we know them. A time is coming very, very soon where Song Ezoshabang is also going to become a non-entity. Let him continue to do what he's doing. Let him continue to fly high as he is doing right now. But we know that there is a day that is coming, a time that is coming, a season that is coming, where all this will be forgotten right now. Songezo is the one who is in charge of the Triple C, and we understand the monies are about, if not, uh, have already been released, the uh, political funding, uh, and it's coming to Songezo Shabang. And I saw Washman Nube also playing very close to Songezo at the funeral of Zizwai. And I think it is now about the money. They just have to come together and, you know, share the loot because that's a loot they have to share that and enjoy that while the struggle of the Zimbabwean people has been derailed these guys have decided to choose money to choose uh you know corruption to choose bribes so as to enrich themselves at the expense of the freedom of the Zimbabwean people and this is very sad a very sad development but they must learn you know from people like uh, Togozani Kupe people like Douglas Monsora who were dumped the moment that ZANPF thought they were you they were done with them they will use you and dump you at a time that they see convenient so zanu pf is never anybody's friend nobody should continue to be cheated by zanu pf and being taken into these dirty agreements that are especially against the people of zimbabwe the freedom of zimbabwe and the future of the zimbabwean people you will find yourself being neglected by zanu pf while you have made a very bad a messy messy relationship with the masses of zimbabwe very very difficult for you in the future to be surviving in zimbabwe after you have shown that you are actually a, a, a sworn in enemy of the zimbabwean people so this is what we are seeing happening kupe very quiet very silent i did i tried to look for any journalist probably who could have gone closer to her and spoken to her but we have not seen any such videos or anything that uh, shows that they did speak to uh Tokozani kupe at any point so I just saw the pictures of Tokzan Kupe or at that funeral. Well, she's looking very, very, you know, uh, low and down. And uh, but this is it. That is part of life. And uh, 
at least she's alive and standing. We, 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 I, I think she is a fighter. She's surviving this cancer. I think it's for the second time, if I remember what she said in the past, that it had come back. It means uh, it could be the second time that it had hit her and uh, she still survived. She's still there. She's still on. Well, we wish her a speedy recovery. We wish her uh, all the best in with her health. I think this is time that she needs to relax and allow herself to heal up. Otherwise, this is what is happening around the country. Thank you so much, family, for joining me on the show. Please subscribe to the show, like, and also share with somebody. Thank you so much. Uh, we will continue to be giving you updates, so stay tuned.